Blanco Roast is about as family owned of a business as you can get. It's literally run by my mother and I. It's been here for about five years. We work with Intelligentsia, which is a locally roasted product. They have a roasting facility in Chicago. All of our products are free trade. So they're really of the highest quality. Our teas are organic. The way we work with espresso and coffee and tea is the highest level. We offer, I think, some drinks that a lot of people don't offer. We also have some standards. We have the seasonal pumpkin latte and the gingerbread latte. We like to mix it up. We like to get really creative. We have Aztec mocha, which is a spicy variation of chocolate. It comes from an ancient recipe for Mexican sipping chocolate. They like to spike their chocolate with a little cinnamon, a little cayenne, just to give it that extra kick. That's been pretty popular lately. Uh, we do a banana latte, which is really good. We also do, it's a little out there, but it's the bacon latte. It's called the Sir Francis latte. A house blended syrup that tastes like smoked bacon. It's good, it's, I mean, a lot of people are a little afraid to try it. The people that have tried it have liked it a lot. Yeah, a lot of people think it's weird, but it really, once you try it, it's good. If you come in and you order one of these drinks, I think you'll be pretty surprised by how different it is from what you may normally find at your local commercial cafe. We're really able to bring that small hometown feel to our business. I think people enjoy getting away from the hustle and bustle. But I think they come here to relax and get the relaxing classical music. In the winter, there's a fire crackling in the background. All of our baked goods are local. We get bagels from Once Upon a Bagel. The bakery that does our muffins and pies is also owned by a local woman. The sandwiches come from Three Tarts Bakery which is also about 10 minutes down the road that way. She's been in business around here for, I think maybe 15 years. I mean, I can't tell you how many people I know by name here. The coffee culture in Europe is very high, but I think we've done a very good job of bringing that standard right here to Glencoe. We like our jobs and we like the people that come here. And the people that come here, I think, like us a lot and appreciate us. They know that they're gonna get something good and they know in the end they can come here, buckle down and get some serious work done because it's really not too loud. You don't have any screaming kids in here. Apart from offering locally sourced products of the highest quality, I think the fact that my mom and I being here all the time and actually running things hands-on has been part of our success here in Glencoe.